Hey there Magic One, Happy New Year. I hope 2022 has kicked off with such a positive bang for you. Very soon I will be posting the yearly overview reading so um, you can get an idea as to how the energies may play out for your zodiac sign. Um, if you wanna get a personal one of those, I do offer them guys and I'm currently running a bit of a discount on those. Uh, you can get 22% off the yearly vision reading by using the code YOUR22 when you buy it through my website. The link to my website is down below. Um, you'll find that there and you'll also see the other types of readings and healings that I do offer. Uh, you can also join the initiation which is my learn tarot journey at any time guys. Maybe it's part of your resolution to learn tarot for yourself so that you can really connect with your inner compass. So you can get immediate access to that at any time by signing up. It is a multimedia rich course guys. Uh, lots of videos, online learning modules, practices, access to me through my private uh, karmic community and um, you can just sign up at any time. It is designed as a four week journey but you can jump in and you've got lifetime access so you can take all year if you want to. So anyway, this is our first reading of the year so without further ado, let's jump across and see what's on the cards for you. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for January 10th to the 16th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block as per usual, three cards, recent past, three current or focus energy and three near future outcome, couple of oracles and a lead tarot energy. So uh, we will jump into the block in just a moment, Gemini, but can I just say with the sun at the center of your reading, things are definitely heading in a very positive, very bright, healed new direction for you. It's a beautiful energy. They say it's the most positive card in the tarot deck. So great energy coming your way. But we'll start over here with the oracles. The first one out was Sisterhood of the Rose. And it really talks about this idea of priest or priestess, mystic or teacher. Now I feel like you might be awakening to some of your own spiritual truths within. Um, we have basically three cards here of spiritual awakening but you may also be working with other people that have gone through spiritual awakenings, um, obviously watching tarot readings or you know really starting to connect in, the, in that way and in that realm here. The next one out was Starseed, what lights you up? Now the concept of a Starseed is somebody that has incarnated here on Earth from having other intergalactic lifetimes. I know that sounds out there guys, but give it a Google if you haven't heard of it before. But basically you may have come here to be part of this massive shift that we're going through right now on, on the planet into the age of Aquarius, into the 5D reality, into the energy of love. It doesn't mean to say that you have to become a priest, priestess, mystic or teacher. Sometimes it's really just about holding a certain vibration. And that's why it's saying here, what lights you up? Gemini, there is a sense that you need to be doing what brings you true joy, love and fulfillment. So you can keep that high vibrational energy to be part of the shift or to do your part as to what you signed up for. Okay. Lead tarot energy is the hermit. It is number nine, Virgo energy in the major arcana. Again, it's a very spiritual card. It talks about um, deep reflection within, awakening to truths within, healing. It can talk about feeling a little bit lost along that journey. Sometimes when we go through spiritual awakenings, you know, we can kind of wake up in our life and a lot of things don't, don't fit. Or sometimes when we're coming into a level of awakening, we start to fall out of alignment, maybe with our relationships, maybe with our job, maybe the kind of place that we're living in. And we can feel a bit lost, a bit lonely, a bit isolated. But the idea goes that the more you seek and search within Gemini, the more your path will be lit and you will find the way. Um, we see you again coming out of this cave energy into the sun energy, into the light. So there is a sense of enlightening or moving towards what lights you up. So it's a really interesting energy. I really like that for you. Let's jump into the cards, Gemini. In your recent past, we have the beautiful magician, the seven of cups and the queen of cups. Queen of cups is cancer energy for me. 
the magician is this kind of energy like it's number one you know we're in January it's kind of like turning over a new leaf in the first month of this year to really you've made that resolution to to step up and take action towards this new path and towards happiness maybe you know you you've been in a period long enough without action without results without achievement things just staying the same and I think this is the year that you really want to make things happen it's a strong resolution that I'm feeling here um we're next to the seven of cups Gemini for me this is uh, awakening from any confusion around an area of your life um, it's awakening to truth it's getting clear it's going beyond maybe the the ego desires and really starting to hone in on what is going to bring you that happiness you might have been kind of buying into a bit of a fantasy and illusion sometimes we we really try and tell ourselves no you know I'm happy this is fine this is my lot this is as good as it gets but there's only so long we can kind of keep up that charade where, you know, the light turns on and we realize, you know, there were some pretty dark, dusty corners there for us. So you're awakening to truth. You're getting clarity here. You're awakening to the fact that moving towards your happiness is an inside job. The magician says that you're stepping into this role of the alchemist of your own life, Gemini, and you know that it's only you that can change your reality and you need to take action and you need to raise that vibration from within, right? We talked about that and that's going to change the energy that you put out into the world, which therefore changes the energy that you attract back in, okay? It's like a, we live in an energetic, magnetic universe so it's so important energy really is everything it really isn't just a, a fluffy idea or concept science is catching up so by changing your energy by holding that vibration of the queen of cups which is compassion empathy heart you can unlock a deeper potential in yourself because you're going to be changing your external reality queen of cups may be somebody that you're dealing with here can be a cancer or water sign energy but I feel the Queen of Cups might be this mystic teacher priest or priestess person in your life that maybe has given you some advice maybe you have been seeking spiritual advice from it can be somebody in your surroundings this can also be a metaphor for you really beginning to hone in on the missing piece right that ace of cups moving towards what lights you up moving from the seven of cups to the eight of cups to the nine of cups so here we see you really assessing in your life what are those missing pieces for me that's going to bring me that wish fulfillment that true joy that true happiness i know that only i can change my reality and i'm stepping up into the alchemist role this year the current focus energy here, Gemini, we have the King of Swords, the Sun, Ace of Pentacles. We have Aquarius energy. We have Leo energy here. Now, the King of Swords linking to Aquarius is February energy. So it might be that in February, because of this kind of work that you've been doing on over yourself and generally over that New Year period is when we do make changes to our energy, which then can attract in new opportunities and offers right ace of pentacles but i feel that it might not be for another couple of weeks or into february that this presents itself now the ace of pentacles will be different for all of you guys this is a general reading um this is an energetic pattern and you will need to uh, associate it with your life and it will be what you are seeking what's your missing piece of happiness well it's going to arrive now as the ace of pentacles for those of you that are seeking greater abundance the ace of pentacles can be some kind of small windfall for some of you that are seeking a greater stability security or looking for a new home to rent to buy to move to this could be you finding that perfect stable secure new base the ace of pentacles can mean you a new commitment if you have um, had somebody come into your life romantically it can be um, a new contract that you're signing okay so there are some of the examples of what this can be but I see this new offer coming in around February that has the potential to transform see the butterfly there transform your life into the positive um, it, it also has this kind of sense that it's very 
um, aligned with your truth with the King of Swords, right? We're getting past the illusion of what we thought we wanted, Seven of Cups, and we're actually getting things here that are really aligned, and that's because of the, the alchemical work you've been doing as the magician. The sun says that this is going to help you overcome some kind of big obstacle in your life. So the piece that this is that this is fulfilling is helping you overcome the obstacle of not having, of not feeling happy, of not being grounded, that kind of energy. The sun is that most positive card in the tarot deck and it says that things are looking positive and bright, Gemini. And it's not just a flash in the pan. This is an energy that extends, you know, several months. It helps you uh, apply the, the heat, the warmth, the light to this opportunity and, and grow it and expand it. So new offer coming in. It's a result of the energetic changes within you. Um, and I feel like it's the thing that's going to light you up and light the path forward into the year. Now, now what happens when a new opportunity or offer comes in? Often we can feel conflicted because when a new opportunity or offer comes in, there is always something to release in order to accept it. Because another universal law is polarity, okay? You know, when one door opens, another door closes. When we experience something, you know, it will experience both good in our life, we'll experience then challenge in our lives. There's always balance. There's always harmony in the universe. So offer comes in and we feel conflicted because... It could be a new home, but maybe I'm going to have to move away from, from family. Um, could be that perfect job that's going to pay you what you need to, to reach the goal that you're, you're, you're working on right now. But we need to leave the lower paid job that we have the amazing colleagues and friends at. So I feel that the five of, of wands here is the conflict over what you are going to need to release or let go, Gemini, in order to fully embrace, connect, and put your energy, your warmth, in order to grow this. So the four of, of pentacles is the fear arising. It is the ego saying, oh, you know what, maybe we should stay in the illusion. You know, it's good enough where we're at, okay? It's that illusion or fantasy wanting to play back in. But with the four of um, pentacles is really about, it's time to release. It's time to let go of the comfort zone and get really clear and focus on the new here. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy, and it's this beautiful energy of putting energy, putting focus into the new seeds and growing them into abundance. She's a master abundance creator, but it's through taking a practical approach, a practical grounded approach from clarity, from truth, okay? We're not going to pay into any illusions or fantasies here. So Queen of Pentacles is this very, very practical earthly energy and says if you put a plan in place, you can use this to your best advantage to really reach new highs in your life. Um, yeah, she it also links to, she's another hit of that home grounded um, real estate kind of energy or money energy that helps you get the stability and security in your life. So I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is linked to to one of those areas for you, Gemini. Let's grab another one here for that outcome. Oh, I got the Six of Pentacles. So that is perfect. Um, you have a lot of Pentacles energy as your dominant suit. So again, I'm really saying that this is about finding stability and security, increasing your money, your finance, your abundance, stable home area. The Six of Pentacles in particular is about that balance that we talked about. If you have felt like, you know, last year that you went through loss or not enough, the polarity is shifting to you actually receiving now, um, getting out of that sense of poverty and, you know, well, poverty to not having a lot. Obviously, there's levels there into a place where you have your needs met. Six of Cups, so we have another six here. I will leave it at that because I was just going to say with the Six of Pentacles, same message is with the Six of Cups. This is about your time to receive and those tables turning. It's not just receiving that monetary um, abundance that I was talking about. The Six of Cups is about receiving that joy. Remember when we were focusing on happiness up here? And they're linked. So when we have enough resources, the stress of, you know, the stress of needing to provide and, and work and, and hustle kind of goes down. So we can feel more pleasure and joy. 
there's the other way of like if we focus on what we love and we focus what we're passion on what we're passionate about and what lights us up then the abundance naturally follows so get one piece in place and the other ones will fall into place around it so whatever this opportunity is it's saying that it is one of those pieces that is lined up for you and if you do accept it and overcome the fears or the limitations of what you'll need to release and sever ties with in order to embrace it, then the other pieces of your life will start to organize and arrange themselves around it. And that's how you move towards your best life, Gemini. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Keeping in mind as a general reading for the collective it may or may not resonate. Drop me a comment guys, love hearing from you and, and seeing how this resonates with the collective. Um, you know, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already guys, that way if you want to you'll know when I post new readings, it's a great way to uh, support the channel, that's the energy exchange between us, as is liking, sharing and commenting on the video it would help me out a lot as well. I am wishing you such a, a beautiful week full of love and magic, see you back here for another one next time, bye for now.